Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the Adult versus Student 31 Day Mild Challenge Virtual Celebration. It is your host, Coach Chavez, in the building. Make some noise. Make some noise, people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. 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 Sorry, guys. It's, it gets really crazy over here, and, and it's just like, okay, cool. Like, I'm, I want people to be able to hear what I'm talking about. Okay. So, welcome, everybody, to the first ever um, adult versus student 31-day mile celebration. Um, I'm super excited to be here. We have a bunch of things to roll out. A huge shout out to everybody who's live with us. We got five people live. Um, this will be uploaded to the KCA. Um, sorry, the Kip Caught a Song underscore Athletics IG. This will also be uploaded to our actual YouTube channel as well. So be prepared. If you miss it, you miss it. If you don't, you don't. I'm glad you all could be with us for this celebration. Let me give you a rundown of what's going on today. Okay. Um, I'm going to give, I'm going to give you an introduction about why are we here? What is this celebration actually for? Okay. Second, we're going to have a student coming from, I don't want to spoil it, coming from a KIPP SoCal school. We're going to have an adult coming in as a special guest from a KIPP, um, not from a KIPP SoCal school, from another organization who's been involved in the actual challenges. We're going to be doing the raffle live on here. We got some prizes that we need to raffle off, okay? A bunch of prizes. We got to give them out. We got to give them out. And also, finally... Hit the drum roll, please. Hit the drum roll. Drum roll. We are going to release the scale of the updated, updated, updated mileage for adult versus students. We got to see who won. We can't have a challenge and not talk about who won. I think just you, I suggest closing and restarting. Oh, okay, cool. Got you, got you, got you, got you. Okay. Thank y'all for everybody working together. Okay, we got 13 people alive. Okay. So let's get started with our introduction. Why are we here? We are here, and actually, I like to play a little bit of music in the background softly. Okay, softly. So let me um, kind of turn it down a little bit. Okay, so why are we here? Um, in March, from March 1st all the way to March 31st, we ended up having our first ever adult versus student challenge. That means Kip SoCal staff members, parents, okay? Outside parents from other organizations went against our Kip SoCal students, okay? In mileage. That means that you had to try to log in more mileage than the students, which Coach Chavez, I was on the adult side, okay? I had to battle against these adults, okay? So, that's why we're here to celebrate that. Now, throughout the month of March, we had a lot of things going on. We had challenges, Okay? which we have people sending in pictures of being active, being involved in inside of the actual mile challenge. We had a challenge where, um, not a challenge, a raffle where students were sending actual videos of them talking about their experience in the actual challenge. Um, we also had Nike East Lows who ran clinics for Kid Carter Sun Academy, lower school and upper school. So here was a um, image that we used to promote a lot. Okay, we had these clinics on Tuesdays and Thursdays where students logged into a Zoom call and went through a dynamic warm-up, actual workout, and stretches, yoga, and got advice from Nike East Los representatives, okay? Um, also, here is the actual fight that we had for our actual, um, actual adult versus student mile challenge, and this was awesome, okay? Awesome, familiar, y'all. We had... We had over 300 plus students and 300 plus um, adults involved as well. And it was crazy. So I'm, I'm going to run down the stats for you. Not right now because right now is not stat time. Right now is just giving you an introduction before we have our special guest on here. Okay. So I just want to kind of run that down to you. Okay. We also had prizes. Okay. That were available for, for uh, students and for adults as well too. So here... We had where if you earned 10 miles or more, you were able to receive a sports towel. If you earn 20 miles or more, you receive a pair of socks and a sports towel. If you earn 31 miles or more, you receive a sports towel, a pair of socks, 
and a medal. And you were, if you received 50, if you logged in 50 miles or more as a student, you received a water bottle, a medal, a pair of socks, and a sports style. And not going to say you received it, you will be receiving it. For my adults, we couldn't leave you out. If you logged in 31 miles or more, you are going to be receiving that actual customized medal right there. Okay, we can't leave y'all. We got y'all. We come on, we got y'all. Okay. So, just want to explain why we were doing this, what we're here celebrating for. Um, also, just to let us all know know this too, like this challenge was actually created to promote um, movement, physical activity. Right now, we are still going through times that a lot of us and most of us are not used to where we're in a household. Um, we can't really be outside. We can't really be around people. So what did I want to do? I wanted to recreate another challenge where it motivated us and got us out of the house and got us moving either out of the house, in the house, backyard, front yard, driveway, parking lot, whatever it may be safely. And it did just that. Okay. I hope that Students and adults involved in this challenge are still logging in miles to this day with their Nike Run Club challenge. I hope students and adults who were logged, who were a part of this challenge may take up a hobby of running, getting a part of a run club. Um, students, this can be an introduction for you to um, sports such as cross country, such as track and field as well. Um, or also being a part of a run club, they have things called Students Run LA where kids train to get involved in marathons as well. And Kip Cardassone Academy is actually going to be opening its own running club next year that is going to create opportunities for kids to train for 5Ks, 10Ks, marathons, 15Ks, um, to be involved in these challenges um, two to three times a year. So I have a lot of opportunities that have come from these challenges. I've heard a lot of positivity. A lot of parents, a lot of students are like, yo, I want more. And we're going to deliver more. Okay? Now. The transition, I talked a lot. I want to get some more people in here to talk. Let me get a drink of water real quick. Put myself on the back. All right. Woo. I always remember to hydrate yourself. Okay. So for our, let me turn the tunes back on. So you know I got the tunes playing. Hello, tunes. Okay. So what we're going to do for our first segment, our first part of this actual virtual celebration. What is being celebrated? We got to have people on here, right? Okay. So for our first celebration, we are going to have a student coming all the way from Kip Innovation. This student name is Jay, likes to be called Jay, and that's it. Okay, so J-A-Y, and I appreciate this student not only meeting with me, but signing up to wanting to be a part of this virtual celebration. I'm going to have five minutes to talk with this student about their experience with the challenge, how much miles they logged in. Are they still logging in mileage? And I got some fun questions that I definitely want to ask this student as well, too. So let's see if they're actually here or let's see if they actually requested to be on the actual live. They should be on here. Let's check it out. I'm looking. I'm looking. Jay, are you here? Jay, if you're here, can you, can you comment? Nikki! Shout out to Nikki. That's a Spectrum reporter. Good friend of mine, Nikki. We're on her having our virtual celebration for our adult versus student 31 day mile challenge. Um, is Jay in the building? If Jay's not in the building, I will bring on my next special guest. Let me see. I'm looking. If Jay's here, Jay, can you comment? Shoot me a comment. I'm going to shoot a request to get you live. If you're not here, it is perfectly fine. I don't think Jay is here yet. Jay's not here. Jay's not here. Jay's not here. Okay. We're good to go. Okay. We're going to move it along a little forward. So we're going to switch up the flow of things. We're going to have our next special guest come on here. I love to interview people. Um, this special guest I have been friends with for a couple years now. Um, she is an avid runner. She's run tons of marathons. Every single challenge we've had this year, the August challenge, the October Spooky 31 Day Mile Challenge, and now the Adult versus Student Challenge, she has been in can we all make some noise? Let me get my round of applause ready. Y'all get, get, get ready, y'all. Round of applause. Be ready. Can we have Olga come on up as a special guest? Make some noise for Olga, y'all. Make some noise. Make some, make, keep, keep clapping, okay? I'm going to request Olga now, y'all. She's going to come on here. And I'm going to interview Olga. I just say, come on. Make some noise louder. Hey. Oh, God. <laughs> Did it work? Am I on? 
It's You're like first on. Time. You made it. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> can we make some noise for Olga? Just a round of applause in the comments. Hey, everybody. Say hello. Okay. Uh oh. Olga is in the hot seat. Oh my gosh. I'm explaining. Olga's not in the hot seat, y'all. Um, <laughs> so, Olga, I wanted to just have you on here for a quick five minutes. I like to, like, you know, respect everybody's time. So, let me kind of set a timer here. Um, I'm a big person on timers. I need to relax. But we wanted to just, like, inter you know, ask you a couple of questions about the challenge you were a part of. Uh, we want to know, you know, how much mileage you logged in. Um, you know, was it fun? Was it engaging? Would you do it again? So I'm, I'm going to run through these questions. I'm going to put the timer off for myself right now, okay? Tell me when you're ready. Let's just, let's just do it, Fredo. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay. All right, I'm asking questions a mile a minute. I'm just playing. All right, first question. Um, what is your name and where are you from? So, hey, everybody. My name is Olga Corona de la Cruz. Uh, pronouns are she, her, ella. I'm originally from a small town called Watsonville, California, but I went to UCLA for undergrad and ended up staying in LA. And my career in education and nonprofit management has been established out there for the past 10 years. I've been running for 10 years this year, so it's been quite a journey. Um, and a little bit about myself, I've run a total of 12 marathons as of three weeks ago, 12 marathons so far. Make that noise. <laughs> what? Did she say 12 marathons? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Let me let me stay on track. Let me stay on track. Okay. So, I mean, 10 years involved in running, 12 marathons. So, first of all, what made you want to join this challenge? You know what? I feel like... Earlier you were mentioning, right, that a lot of us, you know, we had to stay home. We've had to be, in, I've been home for like over a year now, right? And honestly, it really motivated me to get out there. And then just the idea of a challenge, I love challenges. And so whenever there's a chance to join and jump in, um, I'm down, especially when it comes to running. I think that it's really important for folks, uh, whether you're a student or an adult or an older adult, to be able to just move around a little bit, even if it's walking a little bit, uh, maybe walking your pet. Um, and so I just want to thank you, Alfredo, for putting this on for us. Uh, so much love and so much appreciation. And you help inspire many of us. So shout out. Nah, no problem. No problem. Uh, how much miles did you end up logging in for Mars? What's up? What's the, what's the stats looking like? You know what? I'm really, if I'm going to be hella honest, I was like low-key looking it up right now as you were saying. Like, how many miles did you run? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was, you know. Maybe a little over 150 miles. You know I like what? To say. That's let me. That's why they call me coach. Let me let me check out the stats really quick. Okay, so I'm gonna look up Olga's miles. I have this stats right here. Olga, we got you at 146 miles for the month Ooh. of March. Everybody, that is just give her a round of applause. Comment in the chat. That's that's unbelievable. Um, did you feel like it was 100? You feel like oh, that was kind of like something that you average on a monthly. Uh, basis or was that kind of somewhere you're just like the challenge took me to like 100 I would like to say that that's the most I've run consistently ever in 10 years and I think because of that I actually PR'd so what a PR is is a personal record I PR'd this last marathon so my fastest marathon ever had been at like four four hours and like 30 minutes and then three weeks ago I PR'd out four hours 24 minutes uh in LA and so I think it really was just like seeing everybody on the Nike run up too. I was watching you. I was like, oh, I don't know you, but I see you running today. So even if I felt kind of lazy, I was like, I'm going to get up. I'm going to go run because For I saw sure. so-and-so run. And so it's just like a community, right? Like even if we've never really met, but I see you running, yep. I'm yep. going to want to try to keep up. So, you know, it's been, I feel like a really a teamwork for all the, you know, 300 plus adults and 300 plus students. Uh, we kind of like, we really did this together. Nice. I love it. I love it. It's interesting how you say, um, I don't know you, but I just see you on a leaderboard and we're kind of like running friends now and I'm going back and yeah. forth with you, right? Uh, because yeah. a lot of times I've heard people say like, I, I wish I could interact with those people. And it's so, it's so like the running community is such a, a family thing because mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. like, it's like a friendly competition, but I'm also pushing you to be your best self, right? Yeah. Um, because at the end of the day, we're just all trying to get that next mile or get onto that next mile, you know? 
Um, for sure, for sure. I want to dive into some things, like not surface level. I want to keep it funny too, as well. Um, <laughs> shout out to everybody that's joining us. We're, we got 17 people live. Um, you already I know. So, shout friends. out to my boy. I see Dante. I see Dante. We got Dante in the Dante. building. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is like some city, uh, some, some city of your love. Roof, I see you. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm asking funny questions because we got 30 seconds left, so you're kind of on the hot seat. Long All distance, right. short distance? Long distance. Uh, 30 minute run, 10 minute run? At this point, I'm not trying to do laundry for one mile, so it's got to be 30 minutes. <laughs> okay. Do you, what's your favorite part of the race? Beginning, middle, or end? The end. Seeing that What's your favorite line. food to eat before you run? Ooh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and a cup of coffee. What do you want to do after your run is over? Sit down and just like lay down in a yoga mat and lay not on you. <laughs> and that is five minutes right there. I kept my word, y'all. That's that's what I do. I try to keep my word like five minutes hot seat. Boss. Um, Boss moves. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, real quick, can we can we just show Olga some love? Comment in the chat. Show some love. Thank you for being here, Olga. Yeah. Thank you, Alfredo. I Thank appreciate you. you. Thank you. Clap Shout it up for Olga. Make Shout some noise. Hey. Show some love. Olga, we really appreciate you for coming on the IG Live to tell your story because I, it's, it's really important for um, our students to see someone they can see in their cells and identify as. Mm -hmm. Also, your motivation for them to continue this journey of running, knowing that, again, just to, to, to kind of like go back, you've ran 12 marathons, you've been running for 10 years. I'm telling you right now, I run in the run club group that Olga does. She does not seem like she's stopping anytime soon. And I just want you, <laughs> um, you know, young um, students, you're the future. You see this happening in front of you, it's leading by example. You keep on this running journey and they're the, the, yeah. the you know, it's, it's limitless, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Life is a marathon, everybody. So take your time. Take your time. Oh, my God. Well, Olga, thank you. Appreciate you. you. You take care. See what? L.A. Right, bye, 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 Olga. All right, y'all. Let me. Yeah, y'all got to give me a little intermission break. Hold on. Give me a little intermission break real quick. Let me get a little bit of water real quick. No intermission break. Is that cool? All right. Yeah, that was crazy. Olga ran 12 marathons. What? Who runs 12? I'm, I only ran one. That's 26.1, man. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. Sorry. I, I, mean, uh, I know I was, I, you know, I was, this is crazy. That's crazy, y'all. 20, a marathon is 26.1 miles, just, just to let you all know. Um, and she's done 12 of them. Most of those marathons she's done have been in L.A. They start off where Dodger Stadium is, and they literally end all the way at Santa Monica. What? Just imagine somebody said, you know what? Instead of us driving 30, uh, 30 miles today, let's just jog there. I would have been like, wait, what would you say? Let's just run there. You want to run 30 miles. Yeah, let's just run there. Okay, cool. Yeah, whatever. Right? Um, let's keep building community. Find me. Oh, yeah, there we go. Find Olga. If you want to follow her, her social media is in the comment section. Follow her. It's a lot of motivation. And also, she's involved in one of the organizations I used to formerly work for. It, it's called Changes Now. And I would love if some of our young students, right, K through 8, especially for Kip SoCal, was what want to receive any more information about what Olga is doing. Um, it is an AmeriCorps program. It is, listen, it, it's, it's a lot to describe of it, okay? But we are combating social justice issues while working on projects, okay? It's, it's, it's more than that, right? It's kind of like a little bit to sum, sum of it up, but please follow Olga. That is her social media um, profile right here. Now, I got another special guest coming to you, okay? Jay is here, y'all. Jay's in the building. This is our student special. Let me put, turn, the, turn the music on real quick, y'all. Jay, we got it. What's up, Jay? What's up, Jay? You ready to come on, Jay? Comment if you are ready to come on and make some noise. What's up, Jay? Let us know. Show me that you're ready. What's good? What's good? Jay, what's up? 
Okay, okay, okay. Let me just bring you I'm playing too much. All right, y'all. Everybody's like, yo, Coach, stop playing. All right, y'all. We got Jake coming to us. Jake, pull up. Where you at? Oh, yeah. Hey, y'all make some noise. Jay's here. Make some noise. Jay is in the building. There we go. All right, okay. People, stop. stop. They they don't know how to stop clapping. It's it's a you clap a little bit and then you you know what I'm saying you gotta let people talk. Jay, what's going on? What's going on? How you doing? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing amazing. You know, we, we just had Olga on. She told us that um, she literally, you know, ran 12 marathons. And I'm just thinking about how that's just crazy. That's 26.1 mile times 12, which equals just a big number. Uh, it's just a lot. But I felt inspired to run another marathon. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah no, I may have joined it a little bit late in the conversation, but I did hear that, and yeah, she really inspired me. I love, oh my gosh, I love that. That that is amazing. Um, before we continue this conversation, Jay, uh, what is your full name? Where are you coming from? What school do you go to, and what grade are you in? So my name is Halen J. I go to Kip Innovation. I'm currently calling from my house, and, and I'm and I'm in sixth grade doing seventh grade math. Yes, keep it going. <laughs> keep going. Keep clapping. <laughs> Seriously, don't stop. Okay. Okay. First of all, um, I just want to acknowledge how you're in sixth grade. You are not shy to be on camera. Um, you're advocating, you're, I mean, just the confidence, right, at this young of an age is so amazing. So I want to give a shout out to that. Shout out to you for doing seventh grade math in sixth grade, okay? Let's just acknowledge that, too. Also, you're coming from Kip Innovation. Huge shout out to Miss Martinez, a.k.a. Kat. That is one of my very close friends who has supported each and every challenge that I've had for Kip SoCal. So huge shout out to her. I know she's not here right now. Kat is, like, always busy doing <laughs> 3,000 million things. Um, oh, she's yeah. a, like, she's a grade level lead. She's a math teacher, but she's also making sure her KIPP Innovation students are involved in these challenges. Like, that's, come on. Now, you're not math teacher, grade level lead, and you're doing this? Okay, Kat, like, just MVP. So, <laughs> Jay, I'm going to do the same thing that I did for Olga, right, um, where I'm going to set a timer for five minutes. I love to set timers. It's a, it's a big thing with me. Okay, I'm, I'm going to kind of show you the timer, too. It's going to look like this here. Um, and I'm going to just ask you questions. Okay? Okay. And, and, and I wanted to ask, is that cool with you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Ask away. <laughs> I, I love how you're just like, yeah, just bring them on. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right. Let's, <laughs> let's, hit this, let's hit this start button there. All right. Three, two, one. Okay. First of all, question number one, how much mileage did you log in for the actual uh, March adult versus student challenge? Uh, how much I completed? I'm not really sure. I may have done only like a little bit, but like it's better to do like a little bit of something than for you to do nothing at all. That is 100% true. We are here not to um, put anybody down. Just logging in a mile, two, three, four, whatever it may be, means you did more than not doing anything at all. Okay, I love that. All right. I like what you just said. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go off of that. Uh, what would you say to the people who may not have done the best they could do in this challenge? What motivation would you give them to get involved in another challenge? I would just tell you guys to, like, never give up, first of all, because you giving up, like, like, you're basically, like, failing yourself. Then uh, number two, just keep on pushing yourself. If you can only do 10 miles, Next time, do 11 miles. If you could do 12 miles, do do 13 next time. Always add, like, the amount of miles that you can without you hurting yourself. There we go. I love it, right? Get a little uncomfortable, but not to the point where you're in pain, right? And I love that you said that. Um, I love that you told people not to give up because some, some people may say, oh, man, I didn't do what I was supposed to do in the charge. And it's like, it's okay, but were you a part of it? Yes. Were you involved? Yes. Um, 
What's your favorite part of logging in mileage? What's your favorite part? My favorite part is to actually complete like a mile because me completing a mile feels like I, I did something. Like I did something good. Okay. I like that. I like that. So you're you're more of the I know it's gonna be hard, but the end goal to complete it is the most important part, right? Seeing pressing that end button on your Nike Run Club app that says mile completed and then somebody's talking to you. You're just like, stop talking to me. But it logs in your mileage. Okay. Um who do you usually log in mileage with? Is it with parents? Is it with by yourself? Is it with your siblings, friends? Like, who do you who do you work out with? I mainly work out with myself and my dogs. <laughs> How many dogs do you have? I have four dogs, but one of my dogs, she loves to run, to run with me, so I have a treat in my hand that I just kind of run around and she follows me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, Jay's like, I'm going to get my dog exercise, still give the dog a treat, and get my mileage in at the same time. Y'all got to, yo, listen, you got a dog out there, take the tips from Jay, okay? Bring the treats with you, get your dog on, 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 on a walk with you, and you're good to go. Um, would you take part in another challenge? If so, if you say yes, why? If you say no, why not? Uh, so, yes, I would take part in, a, in another challenge because it, it challenges me to do something in, in, my, in my comfort zone. Nice. Okay. Um, quick question. Are you an avid runner? Is this something you've done before or is this like something very new for you? Um, yeah, this is actually something like I, I'm new to because like in my Taekwondo, I have to run like 20 minutes. So like, but like without like, like doing challenges or anything. So I, so this is like something new to me. Nice. Um, scale one to 10, did you enjoy it? Um, was it scale one to 10? So one, when, when it was like, I didn't really enjoy it as much. 10 is like, oh, I really definitely did enjoy this actual like. Challenge. Yes, I would give it a full blown ten if if if, uh, if eleven possible because I had a lot of fun with this challenge. Let's go! I love it. I love it. Okay, all right. So we got a minute left. This is where we dive into like the hot seat, fun questions. It's either one or the other. That's why I like to call this part of like the questionnaire. Okay, is that cool? Yes. All right. Breakfast or dinner? Breakfast. Um, long runs, short runs. Long. Ooh, okay. Um, one mile or five miles? Five miles. Okay, okay. Um, are you a sprinter or you're like, you like to run your miles really fast or I like to just kind of like take my time? Just taking my time. Just taking my time. Okay, okay. Um, best part of the race to you, beginning or end? End. Okay. Uh, if you're in a race with somebody, do you like to start off fast and be in front? Or do you like to catch people towards the end? Catch people towards the end. Ooh, okay. Uh, big breakfast before you start your day or big dinner as you end your day? Big dinner. Okay. <laughs> that is time, folks. Five minutes. I'm keeping my word. Can we just give another round of applause to having Jay on the live stream come on now <laughs> come on now I, to me honestly i i get so i get so happy because seeing young people have this confidence have this this just the mirror of like yeah i can talk in front of a camera and i'm not scared that is so big to me because as a kid i grew up very nervous and very shy and you're so very well spoken. So huge shout out to your parents, your guardians, your teachers, your 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 support system because um, it, it shows. It definitely shows. It definitely shows. Um, any last words you want to give to the live stream before you before you click off? Uh yes. Uh, never give up and always do anything out outside your comfort zone as long as you don't hurt yourself. Okay, I appreciate that. Um. I actually have, give me once, I think this can actually work. Let me see. I'm Coach Chavez is not the best with this. I, it may not work. It may not. <laughs> nope, it's asking me for a filter. Okay, so since that's not working, I think I can just show it on my email. So I wanted to give you an actual um, 
a small token of appreciation for being on the live stream. Olga, I have this for you too. Um, and so what I wanted to give you was I don't have it actually in my hand for some odd reason because Coach Chavez decided to bring um, all of the belongings to the actual school. I wanted to give you um, a, a Lakers anniversary cup. We got a couple of those from the Los Angeles Lakers. I wanted to give you one because I just want to thank you for being on this live stream. Come on here as a special guest. Um, and how that Laker cup looks, and I can kind of show you from my laptop perspective. It's going to look just like this. You're going to get this actual Los Angeles Lakers bag. And you're going to actually get this actual Los Angeles Lakers cup. Um, oh, wow, that's sweet. Okay, and you're going to get that for being on here, for, you know, taking the time out of your day. I will make sure to deliver it to Kip Innovation to give to you. Um, so you have some Lakers swag. I don't know if you're a Lakers fan or not. Yes, no, maybe so. Um, I don't really like basketball, but I do know a couple players from the Lakers. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So you got your little Lakers swag, you got your cup, you got your bag. So once you see that Laker game playing, you could just kind of like sip out of that cup, you know, put your school stuff in that bag. But that's a gift to you I want to give because I really appreciate you being on here. Um and taking a time out. You could be doing anything else you want to, anything else you want to do right now, but you're like, Coach Chavez, I'll be on here. What's up? Let's meet. Um, so that's my total appreciation to you. All right? Yes, thank you. Nah, no problem. All right, Jay. I appreciate you. Thank you for being on. Enjoy the rest of your day. I mean, if you want, you know, keep watching the live. We're going to announce some raffle winners as well, two on here, so if you want to keep tuning in. And also, we are going to announce... Did adults win or did the students win? We're going to see. All right, Jay, take it easy. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Y'all, that's crazy. That's really crazy, bro. She's a sixth grader. She's a sixth grader, y'all, like sixth grade. And I'm not saying sixth graders could be like that, but that she's so mature for her age, very well spoken. I mean... It's, it's crazy. It's crazy, y'all. So, um, we got some things to do. We, we got we to gotta stay on schedule. We got to stay on schedule. Stop, stop trying to give me all the schedule. Y'all trying to get me to talk about other things. Okay. Let me go back to my schedule real quick. So, we finished having our uh, special guest, right? We're transitioning to the raffle period. Let me turn the music down a little bit. Got the, got the instrument. Okay. So, first raffle's up. Ooh, this is a hot tamale right here. Hot tamale. What's one of those things? So we're going to be raffling a Los Angeles Lakers customized cup. She is very kind-hearted. We're going to be raffling this Los Angeles Lakers customized cup. Okay. I know we've got some LA fans out there in the building. Make some, hey, just write, write Lakers in the building if you're a Lakers fan. We got a Lakers mask. We're raffling off with that as well, too. We got a Lakers straw. We're raffling off with that, too. Okay. And we have a just another Starbucks straw. Mm -hmm. So, uh, back in the second week of the March challenge, hey, I see you, Noda. Okay, uh, back in the second week of the challenge, I had a uh, family send in photos of themselves logging in mileage from jogging, from running, even to screenshots of your actual mileage. And every uh, submission you sent was an entry into the actual raffle. And this is what we're raffling first off, okay? So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, familia, let us get our raffle off. So let me kind of like move this over, okay? Because I want to show y'all when I do this raffle. I don't want nobody to think I'm cheating, okay? So what's going to happen? Um, familiar. Let me kind of reverse my camera. I hope I hope y'all can see it. I know the sun is like. Let me just. Sun, I'm gonna have to close you off a little bit, man, because I, I they need to see what's going on here. Okay, I need to know I'm not cheating. All right. So what's going to happen here, familiar, is that Coach Chavez is going to take all of these names here. Okay, there's a bunch of names in that screen right there that you can kind of see. You can't see them exactly, but these names. I'm going to take all of these names here. So Coach Chavez is going to copy those names. And I am going to paste them in this random generator right here. There's a random generator. See that? It says random. It's random. And once Coach Chavez 
presses randomize, it's going to randomize those names. Okay? Like this. Now, this is just a run, a walkthrough. These are not, see? Don't be looking now. Okay? Now, I'm going to go back. I'm going to do it again. All right. So, uh, can we hit the drum roll, please? Hit it, coach. Click random. All right, and stop. The winner of the customized Los Angeles Lakers cup and a mask and straw, okay, goes to Diana Flores. Coming from Diana Flores is coming from one second. K R A. Let's go. Diana Flores from Kip Raises Academy has won. Let me make sure I highlight her name so I know that she's the winner of these Lakers swag. Okay. So I'm gonna contact Miss Garcia to let her know she won that customized Lakers mask, cup, and straw. Now we are not done raffling all prizes because we got a couple more cups I want to give out on this live stream, okay? So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to do this, 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 this is what we're going to do. If you are a Laker fan right now and you want to win that, if you want to win this cup right here, look at that cup right there. If you want to win that cup right here or try to win, I want you to comment your name and your school's name right now. Comment your name and your school's name right now, and I'm going to type your name into this random generator, and we're going to see who wins a cup right now on the live stream. The top three names are going to win right now. Put your name in there right now. You got two minutes. Two minutes. You can put your name or your student's name right now. Let's go. Two-minute timer is set. Put your name up in there. Let's do this. Let's do this. I want to give out prizes to the people that's on the live stream right now with us. Let's go. Two minutes. If you want to win you a prize right now, I want you to put your name. There we go. We got one. We got two names. All right. I'm putting those names in a random generator. I'm putting those names in a random generator right now. Let's go. You got two minutes. Until I hear that timer go off, I'm putting these names in. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. All right. Oh, the name is coming in. Okay. Let's go. You know, we got to get some prizes out here now. Come on now. Okay. Let's get it. Keep them going. Keep them going. Got to get some more prizes out. It's not two minutes yet. All right. And let's go. Is that it? I got some good K. I got some KCA fam out here now. Oh, it's fire. Okay. All right. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, okay. We got oh, we got Mia. Come through with it, Mia. Okay, is that it? Is that it? Top three are gonna win these prizes. Adults, you can put your name too if you want. That can increase your chances of winning the prize. You got 25 seconds left. Send me some names. Put some names in there. I put all those names. I put Giselle. I put Aiden. Jeffrey. Camila. Ariel. Jared. Mia. J oh, there we go, Jacob. <laughs> oh, folks, and that is time. Okay, that's time. No more names. I'm not taking any more names. Okay, okay. You know I had to show some love to y'all being on the live stream. You know I had to show some love. You know I had to show some love. Okay. Names are right here. Names are right here. Just say names are right there. All right. Can I get a drum? Before I go, I need everybody to put the drum roll emoji in the comment section right now. Drum roll emoji in the comment section right now, please. Give me that. Right now, y'all. Drum roll, please. Or you can just pat your, your, your thighs like that. You know what I'm saying? Just give me the drum roll. 
All right, the three winners of the raffle. Oh, I love I got the drums. I see y'all. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Okay. All right. Y'all ready? We ready? Okay, winner number one is Jared M from KCA. Jared M, you have won you an anniversary Los Angeles Lakers Cup. Winner number two is Aiden Calderon from KCA. You have won a Los Angeles Lakers Cup. And for the final winner, coming in at number three, it is Jeffrey M. from Aspire. Come through now. Let's go. And just because, you know what, you know what, since we got two siblings in there that one, I'm going to do a fourth one just because I'm feeling real generous, okay? Because that's two siblings. I want three individuals. The fourth one are coming to you right now. It's going to be Alejandro Chavez. All right, we got four winners, four winners coming through. Okay, four winners coming through. All right, I'm going to put these names out right here so I know that these people have won a Lakers, uh, Lakers Cup, Lakers Anniversary Cup. So huge shout out to our winners, our recipients. Okay, um, really appreciate y'all being on here. To a fifth, please. You know what? 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 Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. Y'all called me at y'all called me at a very generous time. Um, how about this? Tell me what y'all think about this. Let's do this. Let's do this. How about y'all all get a cup? How about every single person who put their name down gets a cup? How about we do that? Let's do that. Is that cool? Somebody comment and let me know. Is that cool if everybody gets a cup? Yes, no, maybe so. Hmm. Yes. No. I'm waiting for that reaction. I need my music, too. It's for, like, the drive. Okay, let's do that, then. I'm feeling real generous. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody I'm giving out all these prizes on the live stream. People are like, what? All right, so everybody gets a cup. So Jared, Aiden, Jeffrey, Alejandro, Adeline, Camila, Mia, Jacob, Ariel, and Giselle, you all get a cup, okay? That's how I'm feeling today, y'all. That's how I'm feeling. I appreciate y'all for being on the live stream. No problem. No problem. No problem. So when y'all pick up y'all prizes for the March for the March Adult versus Student Challenge, all you gotta do is let me know your name. I have your name here for the list, and you can get a you get your cup for free. That's that's what I'm gonna do for y'all. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. That got me, man. Okay, let's go. Shout out to Allison. Um, Allison is the uh, head manager in community relations for the Los Angeles Lakers. I worked with her during the summer because I'm a junior Lakers coach. She gave me these anniversary cups to give out to students. So, I mean, why not give them to y'all? Why not? Why not? So, shout out to Allison. All right, y'all. This is coming to a close. But you know we got to handle business. It got real quiet. We got to handle business, y'all. We have to. We got to announce who won. We got to announce who won. Okay? So I need you to comment right now. Do you think the adults won or do you think students won? Comment right now and let me know. You got one minute. One minute. One stinking minute. Okay? Who won? Adults or students? Who won? You got one minute. Who won? Adults versus students. We're about to release it right now. I, I got one for adults. Okay. Got one for adults. Okay. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Two for adults. Three for adults. Four for adults. Oh. Ooh. Man, I guess the adults is very expensive. Man, this is getting more crazy. Five for adults. Okay. Wow. This is this is getting okay. 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 I guess y'all just ready to see it. I guess some people is like, I know who won. It's cool. It's whatever. Uh -huh. All right, let's get a bar here, y'all. Let's, let's, let's break this out. Okay. We got to get another drum roll, please. Come on up. All right. 
I love I love instrumentals, y'all. It gets me really hot. Okay, drum roll, please. Drum roll. Can we drop the drums? The drum emoji, please. Some just put one more drum emoji for me, real quick, like this. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. And the winner of the adult versus student 31 day mile challenge is the adults. Can we get those adults a round of applause, please, sir? Get them a round of applause. Come on now. Come on now. Look at that. But hold on, can we get those students a round of applause too? Stop playing with me, y'all. That is crazy. Keep it going, more. Clap it up. Let's go. Yeah, first of all, first of all, cause I got stats for y'all. I got stats for y'all, okay? This, will, this is what we doing. We got stats, so give, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me bring these stats up real quick because you already know how this is going. This is not about to leave. Okay, first of all, first of all, first of all, shout out to the dogs for one and yes. They logged in 10,770 miles together. That's, did you hear what I just said? 10,000 miles logged in in 31 days, okay? Shout out to our students who, they don't have as much access to, run miles on their own, but all together, kindergarten through eighth grade, we had students logging 7,440 miles for the month of March. So all together, our students logged in, students and adults logged in 18,000 miles. Do you understand that? They literally keep, okay, so I'm from New York. It takes 2,000 plus miles to go back to where I'm from. They can go two, four, six, Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Eighteen divided by two. They can literally go back and forth from New York nine different times because that's eighteen thousand miles. I'm not done. Let me throw you some stats real quick. I'm not done yet. I'm not done. Stats. We had two hundred and twenty-one adults walking five miles or more. Two hundred and twenty-one adults. Two hundred and twenty-one. Not done. 189, 189, sorry, 189 students logged in five miles or more. Stats is not finished yet. I got more stats for you. Watch this one. We had 96 adults log in 31 miles or more, meaning that 96 adults actually earned the medal. Not done. We had 147 students log in 10 miles or more, which means 147 students earned just a sports tile. We had 102 students log in 20 miles or more. We had 78 students log in 31 miles or more. We had 49 students log in 50 miles or more. So, somebody talk to me now. Do you hear those stats? Do you understand? This is so much like, yes, uh, adults, you won. You won. But look at that. Look at the stats. That's insane. In the month of October, in our October 31 Spooky Mile Day Challenge, we logged in 10,392 miles. We almost doubled that in March. We literally almost doubled that. Our last challenge had 478 participants. This challenge had 675 participants. Come on now. Come on now. That's what I'm talking about. And we literally almost hit 20,000 miles. Dude, that's, that's insane. That's, that's mind-blowing. Y'all are awesome. This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is our first annual, because this is going to happen year by year. This is the first time we've ever done it. Man, I'm, I'm sweating just think. Okay, y'all, let me. Okay. Come on. Oh, no. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just so hyper because it's, it's crazy. It's the stats. Like, to have 147 students log in 10 miles or more, that, to me, that's just, it's, it's just insane. It's insane. I'm, I'm proud, honored, grateful, 
humble, excited, happy. Um, I don't even know. Is there are there any more words I left out? Um, jumping with joy. Uh, I want to like jump and kick flip in the air because you all did this. This wasn't just Coach Chavez. This wasn't just the person who was at the top of the leaderboard. This was everybody. This is a team thing, right? I know a lot of times you might see somebody who's in front of you on the leaderboard. Guess what? Your mileage counted. We needed your mileage to get to that number. We needed that, okay? We would have never got to that number without your mileage, so remember that. Thank you all for being a part of all these challenges this year. Um, it was such a huge success to have three challenges. In August, we had 42 people a part of a challenge. In October, we had 478 people sign up. And then in the month of March, we had over 600 people involved in the challenge. That is so beautiful to me. And it, it really just shows how supportive you all are, how dedicated you all are, um, how amazing you all are, and what we can do, um, what we can do coming together. That's what it shows me. Like, nothing's impossible. You li we literally did this during a pandemic. Imagine what's going to happen when the pandemic's over. <laughs> Man. Um, get me all emotional. Um, thank you all for being a part of these virtual celebrations. Um, thank you for uh, believing in my vision, the goals that I have for this challenge, for wanting to be a part of it, for logging into mileage. A um, couple of things I want to leave out on. Please continue to get mileage in. Just because the challenge is over doesn't mean that um, it's time for us to stop getting in mileage because um, the moment you, 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 you stop, you're taking a couple steps back. Let's keep that momentum going. Um, I see other people still logging in mileage. I still see other people tagging me in mileage. Um, I'm going to be running the marathon this year, which is November 7th. Marathon is 26.1 mileage. I will be starting up the uh, Kip Cotason Academy uh, run club, which will have a lot of logistics with it um, being involved. Uh, so please stay tuned for that. Um, prizes. I wanted to be very transparent. Uh, we just put in an order today for prizes. So it's going to take about two to three weeks. Um, the goal is to get prizes in either the first week of May or second. Um, we're getting the socks, the sports towels, the medals, the water bottles, and we're going to have a lot more stuff for you all. Um, we will be consistently communicating with you on a weekly basis about prizes as well. So please stay tuned. Um, we're not going to leave you in the dark. I want you to know there will be a sign-up sheet sent out for that also. And um, just stay tuned. I have a lot more in store. Um, this is just the tip of the iceberg as well. Um, thank you, Olga. I appreciate you. Love you all. Take care. Celebration over, y'all. Celebration over, over, out, over, out. Thank y'all. Write a comment, leave a comment. I appreciate y'all. Man. Hey, this was dope. This is dope. I love it, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, thank y'all. All right, y'all take it easy. You can leave a comment. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. It's been amazing, it's been amazing. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Thank you all, thank you all, thank you all. Nah, I appreciate y'all as well too. Always family, always family. Oh man, thank you so much, mom. I got a surprise for you too, so you stay tuned. Stay tuned for that when I see when, when you come up to pick up your prizes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Family thing. All right. I'm about to log it off. I want to stay on so bad. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Real talk. All right, y'all. We're going to log off in 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five.
five, four, three, two, and one. Thank you all. Love you all. One family. Appreciate y'all. Okay? Stay tuned. Hello. Good 